I was so sad to hear about the passing of Aston family man Barrett last week. Um, now, if you don't know him, then you would have definitely heard his bass lines because he was band leader and bass player for Bob Marley and he played on all those classic Whalers hits. He still toured right up to about 2014 though, so a lot of his output was much more than just playing with Bob Marley. I played Bob Marley all the time in my stereo when I was a teenager and just starting to play bass. Um, even in Essex, the UK, um, where I grew up, uh, reggae was actually played all the time. I played reggae, blues and rock mostly. Um, so Family Man was a massive influence on my bass playing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play five classic Aston Family Man Barrett bass riffs from the Bob Marley era. I'll show you the main bass riff from each of these bass lines. As always, you can download the free PDF with this whole lesson on it. Um, you can get that in standard notation and tab by clicking the link below this video in the description. The first classic Aston Barrett riff is from Stir It Up. Now, when you're playing reggae bass, you can use anything. Aston Barrett um, favoured a Fender jazz bass. Um, but you can use anything, just roll the tone down a little bit, roll the treble down um, and you'll get nearer to that reggae sound. You can also use your thumb as well to pluck. So I'm using my P bass that I put together um, and I've got flat wounds on this as well. So I like that sound for reggae. Listen to me playing the main riff first. Okay, an important thing about playing Aston's bass lines is to get the articulation right. So some of these notes are shorter and some of them are longer, okay? You probably noticed that when I played it. Um, first of all, I'm playing longer notes. And then I'm playing short notes. So short, short, short. And then short, 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 okay? That really makes it, um, especially when you're playing reggae, um, the bass will cut through more when you're playing short notes. This is in A major. The first chord is A. Um, we're playing the root, the third, and the fourth, okay, in that bar. Okay, so just A, C sharp, and D. And then here on D, Okay, that's just a, a major arpeggio, root, major, third, fifth. Very important in reggae, okay? Use that shape all the time. So get to learn this shape. Okay, when we move to E, we're playing the same arpeggio, but we're playing B here, okay? So we don't have to shift. So we could do the arpeggio on D here, and then E here. Okay, but the E one we're just doing playing the B there, okay? Watch this bar. Okay, so we've got D, S sharp, A, and then D sharp, a quick pick up note there, and then E, G sharp, B, okay? Okay, I'll loop this riff a few times and join with me if you want to, okay? Three, four. enjoying this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube you can do that by clicking the red subscribe button in the corner of the screen and if you click the bell and select all then you'll get notified as soon as I bring out a new video the next classic family man riff is from three little birds I'm going to show you the intro bass riff and then the chorus bass riff I'll play you the intro riff first Okay, that's probably the hardest um, lick there in the whole video. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it's in A again, and the first bar we're just outlining this major arpeggio shape again. Um, as I said, that's very important in reggae. This on A, root, major third, fifth, that's the arpeggio. We're kind of doing it in reverse. Okay, 
And in the second bar, we've got this rhythm. Burda, burda. Okay, first time, second time. And then this lick. Okay, we've got a triplet there with a hammer on. But I'll break that down and play it slowly. Okay. There's a grace note leading up to the second group of notes. I'll miss that out. That's it, missed out. And with the grace note, that grace note, um, it's a very quick note from the E to the F sharp. Hammer on again there. Okay, um, I'll loop this, um, these two bars for this intro riff. Three, four. Okay, and the timing is one, two, three, and. and. So it's on three and you start that triplet, okay? Now that's pretty fast, all right? So you might not be able to play that little lick, but it doesn't matter, just play the same. And you could just loop the first bar um, or use the ending of the first bar for the second bar like this. Okay, you could play that if, it's, if the lick's too fast for you. I'll now play you the chorus riff from Three Little Birds. Okay, so it just moves the D in the third bar. The first bar is the same as the first bar of the intro. The second bar. That's the same as uh, the alternative I've given you for the intro if you can't play that lick. And then it moves to D. The D arpeggio shape. And then back to A. Okay, try that with me. So this is four bars of the chorus riff. Three, four. Okay, um, so that's the intro riff and the chorus riff. The next riff is from the song Jammin. Um, I'm going to show you the, the main riff and then I'm going to show you the bridge riff as well. I'll play you the main riff first of all. Okay, this is mostly root notes. Um, in the G bar, we've just got the major third, okay? Um, also, what's important here, we've got this kind of reggae shuffle. If I didn't play the shuffle, it would be like this. But it's this. Okay, similar to the blue shuffle. Um, it's a ba ba da ba da ba da like that, okay? So we, we, we're, the root notes are B, E, G, F sharp, okay? B, E, G, F sharp. Uh, and then we're on the G. Goes, um, we've got that little bit there. So G, 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 B, G, F sharp. It goes to F sharp early, okay? So the first bar. So the first two bars. Okay, do I have me? Three, four. Again, three, four. And then on to G. Okay. And then we carry on. Okay. Okay, and that last bar, the second bar and the last bar is like, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and.
Okay, like that. So let's try these four bars of the main riff. Three, four. I'll now play you the bridge riff. So the first two bars move between B minor and E. Okay, so B, D, E. D, B, D, E. Again, you can use an open D if you want. It's entirely up to you, okay? And then we've got G. So G, then down to F sharp early, like in the main riff. And then it's F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, okay? Now, like the main riff, it's important here that we play um, short notes, okay? For these two. Okay. Not. Okay, let's try this bridge riff. Three, four. Okay, so the main riff is used for most of the song and sometimes it goes into that bridge riff as well. The next Aston Barrett bass riff is from One Love and this is one of my favourite Bob Marley tunes. I'm going to show you the main riff and when you're playing that make sure that you play all the notes um, slightly detached the same way that Aston Barrett does if you listen carefully to his bass line. I'll play this main riff for you now. Okay, you could hear me playing that detached. Uh, it sounds a bit like my girl. <laughs> this is in the key of B major and we start with a B chord and we just play root fifth, like my girl. Okay, and then C sharp, E, F sharp. Okay. There's a few ways to play this. Um, you could use your third finger on the C sharp first finger on the E and then your little finger on the F sharp or your third finger. Or, that's up to you, okay? And then here, okay? Sounds slightly strange this bar um, because we're actually on the, we're starting on the fifth, it's actually E. That's an, that's a, a, an E chord but we're playing a B. Okay, sounds slightly strange on its own actually. Um, it sounds, it's kind of a different bass line that you'd expect, but when you listen carefully, you can kind of hear it in there. So it only uses a few notes really, it just uses five notes, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. First five notes on minor scale. Okay. And then here, this is B, D, E, D, B. Again, you can use the open D. And then E, F sharp, C sharp, B. Okay, try this with me. Three, four. Again. Okay. 
Okay, see how you get on playing that to the original track. The last classic Aston Family Man Barrett riff we're going to look at in this video is from Buffalo Soldier. This riff swings as well, it's got that kind of reggae swing to it. Um, I'm going to show you the main riff. So it's in A, okay, I'll play it for you first. Okay, so it's on A, you're just playing root notes on A. Play that, um, the third note short, both times. It's the same for both bars. And then F sharp. So F sharp, E, D, A. Okay. Again, use open strings if you want. Um, play the um, the third, fourth, and fifth note short, and then we've got a short F sharp. Okay, so the last two bars: one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so there's a gap on one. Okay, this sometimes happens in reggae. You don't play on the first beat of the bar. Okay, so those two bars. One, two. Okay. One. Okay. Um, let's play the whole riff. Three, four. Okay, that's the main riff at the very start. Um, Aston's playing this, playing that kind of reggae shuffle just on A root notes. So that's all the five classic Aston Barrett bass riffs. Let me know what you thought by leaving a comment below this video. There are obviously tons of other great bass riffs that Aston Barrett played, especially with Bob Marley, um, but these five are some of my favourites and I hope you like them too. Don't forget to help me out by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. If you felt you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. They're $5. Um, you can see the details at the bottom of the screen here or the link is below in the description. Also check out my website, gbshed.com. I've got loads of other bass resources over there. I've got bass courses, books, merch, and also details of my Bass Masters membership. So if you're really looking to um, reach your full potential on the base, then you might be interested in the membership that's got a monthly subscription. So all of the details are below in the description or head over to gbshed.com. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video.